So this is my unboxing and first charge of this SOK 100 amp hour battery. I got this with Bluetooth at $200. Now it's actually 195 so I think it's a real bargain because just a few years ago I saw them selling it at Costco for five six hundred dollars imagine now it's down to two hundred dollars so they came in like a this double battery pack. actually has cold temperature protection but because I'm putting it in my garage I'm just gonna leave it in the box with a foam insulation so it'll protect it a bit further in, in winter and yeah um, the case is solid this steel and you can unscrew the case so you can work on the BMS change it if there's a problem and it's very solid kind of almost fireproof and comes with a nice handle that's one of the main reason I bought this battery you can use it as a separate battery from your solar system just unhook whatever connection you have and you can just use it as a portable battery so I'm giving the battery a first charge it came in at um, actually 11 volt you have to wake it up and I use a 7 amp hour to try to charge it it wouldn't even do anything it just woke up the battery and the voltage was 13.2 now I'm using a 30 amp uh, charger which I modify and I'm charging it with a setting of 13.6 volt and 24.77 amp so this is the app that you have to download it's okay uh, battery I look look it up on the app store and uh, yeah it's pretty much basic and if you want it to go into basic settings you have to type in a password there's actually no documentation that came with this vendor but I found on the internet that the password is 200010 so that that you go into the basic settings so if you want to reboot or reset your app you could storage i don't know what it is well storage is i guess it just uh, uh there's probably like a minimum voltage that uh when you put it in the storage uh, so you know it won't go dead something like like that but there's this app that you can use uh which is nice because I want to hook this battery up to my system here and I want to monitor the state of charge of the whole set when it is put in parallel they should all be at about the same voltage so if I have a BMS in with Bluetooth I can monitor the SOC remotely when I'm in my house. So this is a good thing to have. What a caution! What a caution about these homemade chargers. This is basically a 30 amp power supply, and you can adjust the voltage to 14.6. This is the trimmer here. You can adjust this. And initially I set it to 14.2 and it was charging the battery at like 40 amps or so and of course these batteries will burn up so I immediately changed it back to 13.6 volt 
and now it's charging at about 20 amp. So uh, this is not an automatic charger, but it's a cheap power supply. But you can use it, just you have to watch it. And after it's charged up, I'm gonna hook this to my other batteries and then uh, they're gonna be charged with a charge controller. So hopefully uh, it will work well when they're in parallel. And I have about 500 watts of solar panels. Not a whole lot, but this is just a backup system. It is not to replace your regular home electrical system. So, it's, like I said, a bargain at $200. Maybe it will go down even further, I don't know. Maybe then I'll be forced to buy another one. Alright, um, there's no capacity, no capacity test because many people have done capacity tests on the batteries before and uh, yeah I don't need to do another one just uh, the charging all right uh, you can do it with your DIY but don't leave it alone when you're charging always make sure you monitor with the app or with whatever current meters you have when you're charging all right thanks for watching